What's up, guys? Got him again. Fish. Solid fish. Overall, the tent is great. Super light. Open this guy up, and you're ready to rock and roll. Look at the size of him. Look at the girth. This guy snapped my rod. Again, that's why you never give up. Never give up. So, with that said, guys, make sure you guys tune into this channel. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Stay tuned. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Outdoor Junkies, and today is going to be a review day. Um, I wanted to get out there, do some fishing, but it is super hot. It's like over 116 degrees outside guys so it is burning hot so i figured why not let's do a review we haven't done too much backpacking equipment reviews just because i haven't been out backpacking at all right now is the summer out here in california and it is super super hot so um i'm not doing too much hiking i'm not doing too much backpacking at this time 70 percent of our content is usually fishing i do throw some backpacking reviews in the mix just because I feel like fishing and backpacking and camping, I think all these things go hand in hand. So I always wanna make sure that we're always prepared, good equipment for a, a reasonable price. We're not looking for the cheapest equipment, but we are looking for good quality equipment that is reasonable price. That's what it's all about, guys. So let's jump right into it. Sorry for the background, guys. We are still in the construction phase. My office slash man done will be done soon and we will be doing our reviews in that room. So today's review is going to be sleeping bags, guys. Sleeping bags, this is so important. I strongly advise of buying good quality sleeping bags. In the past, I have bought sleeping bags that are just hasn't cut it i've been in some cold conditions and sometimes when we plan on going backpacking the weather doesn't doesn't cooperate with us sometimes so you know sometimes the weather says oh it's going to be 60 out and um when we get there it's like 30 degrees at night and it gets super cold so sleeping bag is super important so that's what we're going to be reviewing today i bought this i actually bought this at a super good price and uh, me and my girl were at the outlet malls once again and you know you find good deals we're at north face and we've seen sleeping bags there and they were all like 60 percent off and because this bag uh starts at like 190 dollars but they had a 60 percent off deal and then my girl had a couple little extra coupons or whatever you guys want to call them uh saved us another 10 or another 15 percent we ended up buying a 20 degree bag for a super good deal. I think I paid like $109 with tax and everything out the store. So basically for $100, we got a good product and uh, something that you could really rely on while you're out there. It is in the storage bag right now. We're gonna pop this guy out and go over some measurements, weights, all the details of the cat's meow. So here is the sleeping bag out of its storage bag. Uh, I wanted to show you guys some of the colors first. We'll get into that real fast. It's like a light navy blue with a gray toe box with a teal North Face logo on there. It's kind of cool, I, I kind of dig it. Uh, I don't care too much about the colors. I, the colors are cool, I'm more concerned about its performance more than anything. And we're gonna get into the performance and all that, but I did wanna show you guys the bag first. So let's open this bag up. And as you guys see inside, it is a teal color on the inside. And uh, it's a pretty nice bag. Um, the look of it all is pretty good. And it also has this nice glow in the dark zipper. So at night you can see it to uh, zip yourself in. So that's how the bag looks. Now let's get into some of the measurements and details of this bag. I wanted to show you guys the look of the sleeping bag. Now we're gonna get into some of the details about this bag. This is a synthetic bag. Um, I like synthetic personally uh, for most applications. Um, we could talk about down and we could talk about all that, but talk about this specific bag. Uh, so let's get into those details. This is the Heat Seeker Pro model. This bag, the sleeping bag by itself weighs 1.8 pounds. So it's a pretty light bag. Um, the sleeping bag itself, it's pretty light. One pound, eight ounces of light bag. And um, that's one of the great things I like about this bag. Not only is the bag light, but it also keeps you warm. It does come with a stuff sack. 
and basically what you do is you take your sleeping bag out of the storage bag and you could stuff this in here with the sleeping bag inside the stuff sack it comes under right under three pounds with the stuff sack comes into two pounds nine ounces so that's really not that bad a lot of backpackers they don't even use the stuff sack they just take the sleeping bag and they stuff it in their backpack which is always an option to cut that extra pound it's a pound and one ounce you're cutting directly out of the weight of your sleeping bag if you do not use the stuff sack i personally do use a stuff stack stuff sack in most occasions but sometimes i don't and it has the, the straps so you can strap it all down now when this when the sleeping bag is inside the stuff sack the measurements come in 10 inches by 18 inches so really it's not too much space depending on how many liters your backpack is the next thing I want to talk about is the dimensions of the sleeping bag, 78 by 32 wide. So it's a pretty comfortable bag for a mummy bag. And I do enjoy the mummy bags when it's super cold. The next thing I want to talk about guys is the degree of the bag. Now this bag is a 20 degree bag and it's good up to minus seven. So I don't know guys, is it really good up to seven degrees? I have not tested that. So there you guys have it. Those are the dimensions. That's the weight of the bag. That's the price of the bag. I do want to mention about sleeping bags. It does make a difference if you're male or female. Uh, males do tend to sleep warmer than females do. So keep that in mind uh, if you're looking for if you're looking for a sleeping bag for a woman as well. Now let's get into what I personally think about the bag. The sleeping bag overall is a really good sleeping bag. I have really no complaints with it. Um, just because I use a really good sleeping pad and that's really what's gonna keep your body heat reflecting back to you. Your sleeping bag does play a part in keeping you warm, but the thing that really keeps you warm is a quality sleeping pad, which I don't wanna get in too much detail with those in this video. I will be doing a video on sleeping pads as well. So I have tried this out in some colder conditions, not freezing cold, 30s out here in California is pretty cold. So it hasn't been tested in the seven degree or two or minus two or minus seven degrees, but it has been tested in 30 degrees, 25 to 30 degrees it has been tested in and it's a great sleeping bag. Now with all that stuff said guys, make sure you guys smash that notification bell, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for all the love and support. I want you guys to comment below and let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see next. Deuces.